COVID-19 has destroyed the restaurant business, not just here, but all across America. And it is, it is having such a ripple effect down the line for the people who work at restaurants and the companies that supply restaurants. One of those locally is AJ's Produce and warehouse manager Brian Rainey is joining us now and, and it's really taken a toll on your business. Yes, it has, Eric. It's, it's uh, really been rough on us. Uh, you know, like I said, we're probably about 75% down. Uh, the majority of our business is in, is in the French Quarter, CBD, and, you know, uptown restaurants, basically all over. But, um, you know, uh, particularly, uh, one, one particular problem we're having right now is that, um, you know, some things are starting to open up a little bit now, but the problem is, one big problem we have is that we can't get guys, can't get guys to come back to work. It's, um, especially with the, uh, the unemployment uh, situation, uh, these gentlemen are making more money uh, not working, staying home. So uh, I think it's going to be a big problem as as these restaurants uh, start opening up more and more um, until the unemployment stop, which I'm hearing, I think may go through th July 31st. So we may have a serious problem on our hands. And, and so, so uh, do you serve just restaurants or do you supply stores and shops, things like that? Well, we do a, a lot of the fine dine restaurants in the city, but we also do some of the hotels in the city. Uh, uh, and we also do some grocery store business that we're doing now, particularly now since after, since all the coronavirus things started. Um, so we do, like I said, it's not just restaurants, but I mean, it's, it's, uh, we do some, you know, we do some, a lot of uh, bars and, and, and different things. And now with the, with all the sporting events being canceled yeah. and, and all that. So it's just a trickle effect with everything. And we talked about that ripple effect uh, going down the line. So the people where you buy your, your uh, produce from, the farmers, uh, the growers, I mean, th they're suffering because you're not buying as much and you're not selling as much. Exactly right. It's just um, right now, you know, with, uh, with the situation, because we're not selling as much, I can't buy as much. So what happens is a lot of the trucking companies that uh, would generally bring us a trailer load of produce now only bringing us, you know, a half a trailer load of produce. So what's happening is the, the you know, when you pay freight, you know, uh, the, the more packages you put on a truck, the cheaper it is per package. So now, you know, when you put less packages on a truck, you know, and so a lot of these companies now uh, only want to come in for so many packages, which you really can't blame them in a way, because if they don't come in, you know, if they only come in with a small amount of packages, then they can't make any money. Yeah. And, and uh, when we get to the new normal, whatever the new normal is going to be, I mean, how hard is it going to be for you guys? Because if the restaurants can't fully serve the customers, then you're not fully back up to where you were. You'll still be down. Well, I think it's going to be a challenge. Like I said, we had a couple of restaurants that, uh, that are starting to open a little curbside, uh, little curbside pickup stuff in the French Quarter. I got win today. One of, our, one of the Brendan family restaurants. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> we're all just going to have to work together, uh, Eric. You know, um, and like I said, I've just been trying to call a lot of, the a lot of my customers that aren't open yet and just kind of give me a heads up um, you know, when you might be opening. And I generally know what type of uh, items that they use. And we're just going to have to try to work together. And there may be some items that we just can't get in, can't, don't have on hand right now. And, you know, we may have to change some things on some menus here and there. And I think when some of the restaurants open, uh, some of the bigger restaurants that we sell, like the Brennan families and all that, we may have to, um, you know, they may have to be able to scale down the menus and then just gradually, you know, work with that. That way uh, they don't have to, because like I said, you saw on the, on the news that some of the meat companies are having problems, you know? And yeah. So, you know, if there's a lack of a uh, lack of product, then, you know, they may have to scale down and, and, and not offer everything on their menu and, and just gradually build it like that. I mean, it's going to be a, going to be a work in progress, there's no doubt. Brian, we appreciate you talking to us today. Yes, thanks for having me, Eric. Let's pray right. and hopefully the city comes back, and I'm sure it will. Thank you, Eric.